Hey Dad, this is another segment out of the book, uh, Bible Promises of Healing, 16 letters written to Mom. Again, this was written to Mom Ernestine, but its message is true for us all. The title of this chapter is How the Word of the Lord Travels, Isaiah 55, 11, New King James Version. So shall my word be that goeth forth from my mouth. It shall not return unto me void or empty, but it shall accomplish what I please, and it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Daniel chapter 2, Daniel, Daniel chapter 10, verse 2, verses 4 through 6, verses 12 through 13, New King James Version. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning three full weeks. Now, on the 24th day of the first month, I was by the side of the great river, that is, the Tigris. I lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a certain man clothed in linen, whose waist was girded with gold of Uphaz. His body was like beryl, his face was like the appearance of lightning, his eyes like torches of fire, his arms and feet like burnished bronze in color, and the sound of his words like the voice of a multitude. And he said to me, O Daniel, man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak to you and stand upright, for I have now been sent to you. While he was speaking this word to me, I stood trembling. Then he said to me, Do not fear, Daniel. For from the first day that you set your heart to understand and humble yourself before God, your words were heard, and I have come because of your words. But the prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me twenty-one days, and behold, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, for I had been left alone there with the kings of Persia. Psalm 103, verses 20-21, through 21, New King James Version. Bless the Lord, you his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of his, who do his pleasure. Hebrews 1, chapter 1, verses 13 through 14. But to which of the angels said he at any time, Sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall in, who be who for them? Aren't they, aren't, aren't they not all ministering spirits, his angels, sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? Jeremiah one twelve. Then said the Lord unto me, Thou hast well seen, for I will hasten my word to perform it. That was the King James Version. The NIV Version reads like this. The Lord said to me, You have seen correctly, for I am watching to see that my word is fulfilled. Psalm 107, verse 20, New King James Version. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Mom, in this letter, I just wanted to share a little bit about how the word of God travels. In Isaiah 55, 11, we see God backing up his word with a promise. That promise is that when his word is released, it won't come back without performing what it is sent to do. The part people miss is how his word gets sent out in the first place. God is not just sending out his word to perform things. He did that in the Old Testament in Genesis, where he spoke things into existence. But then he rested. He now sends out his word in response to people who pray in faith. A lot of people ask, why did God let that happen? Or why didn't God do something? Since the, God, since the garden, God has given us authority in the earth. It's like when we grow up and move out of our parents' house. Once we move out, our parents don't just come over uninvited and start doing things in our house. Our parents are often ready to help, but we need to ask for it and invite them in. Pushy or insecure parents might try to force their advice on their kids or keep popping over to see if they are still needed. God is not like that. He wants us to invite him in to help by praying in faith. Hebrews 11:6, New King James Version says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he who comes to God must believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. God has set it up that we have to believe that he exists first, then seek him, reach out to him in faith, and then he rewards us. He knows all, sees all, and is aware of all of our needs. But if he answered our needs without asking, there would be no faith, no humility, no honoring him on our part. When we pray the word of God, Psalm 103 says that God sends angels in response. These angels that excel in strength do his word, do his pleasure. Hebrews chapter 1 says that angels are ministering spirits sent forth to minister to or serve us who are the heirs of salvation. Now when I say serve, I mean 
that they are indeed doing God's pleasure, which is honoring our prayers of faith with the responses. Daniel is an excellent example of this. Daniel prayed and an angel showed up. The angel told him that he was sent by God in response to Daniel's prayers. The angel also mentioned that Daniel demonstrated humility. Remember that I said praying to God demonstrates faith that he is. It demonstrates faith that he can fix our situation. And praying demonstrates the humility to recognize that he is greater than us, that he is Lord of the universe. The angel told Daniel that he was greatly beloved. So are you. The Bible says that God lo so loved you. The Bible says that God so loved you and me and even the world that he gave his only begotten son so that if we receive him as Lord by faith, that we would have eternal life. When we pray, God responds out of his love for us. Responding to our prayers of faith gives him pleasure and the angels do his pleasure. In the case of Daniel, we see that angels helped ensure that God's word did not return void. A demon, referred to as the prince of the kingdom of Persia, tried to stop Daniel's answer. <clears throat> we know it was a demon because he was powerful enough to handle the, hinder the first angel and a second more powerful angel. In fact, <coughs> a chief angel, Michael, had to be called in to help. I think I might have misquoted something there. He withstood the first angel and the first angel called Michael in to help. So two angels, not three. And I didn't catch that until I just read it. In three places, Matthew 24, 35, Matthew, Mark, Matthew 24, verse 35, Mark chapter 13, verse 31, and Luke 21, verse 33, the Bible says, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Of course it's not passing away. Almighty God is watching over his word and has all the forces and resources of heaven at his disposal to bring it to pass. So from now on, when you pray, I want you to imagine angels flying towards you with answers. I want you to imagine God himself peeking over his, out over his throne, watching over his word, the word you prayed in faith to see that it is fulfilled. All you have to do is wait like Daniel did until the answer comes. I will share with you how to wait in the next letter.